When I was very young, I always was drawn to the American flag. No particular reason other than it's my country, so. Started painting it at uh, a young age, probably around uh, 15, 16, and I continued on all through my art career, painting the flag and continued after my injury also. I remembered how to do everything. It was difficult just to remember to teach my mouth how to do it now. Bunkworth has always inspired others. Just before, he wasn't in a wheelchair. At 6'3", he loved sports, loved the outdoors. Six years ago, playing in a rugby tournament, Bunk was left paralyzed. When did you realize that your life had changed forever? Pretty much immediately. To me, I knew right when it happened, something bad happened. I just got hit in the side of the head, fell right to the ground. It's Bunk's reaction that might shock you. It was an injury. I wasn't dead, so I was, didn't bother me a bit. I wasn't dead in the situation. I was still, I still have my life to live. And it's that attitude that has friends, Rana and Greg Shermer, in awe and inspired. He is the same guy from the minute before the accident until now. I mean, he's that same cool, edgy. I tell a story uh, from when he was in Colorado just after he got injured. And I thought we were going out there to make him feel better about him being injured. And I had to write him a letter when I got back home that he actually made me feel better about the fact that he was in the situation he was. In fact, his motto, there are no bad days, is mom. You'd see him having a, a day that was really kind of tough, and you'd go, that is a tough day, Bunk. He said, no, it wasn't that bad, Mom. And he never would say, never, that it was bad. It was a bad day. Bunk's accident has brought out the best in friends. I love you. His Orange County Bucks rugby teammates, Servite High classmates, friends from Cal State Fullerton started fundraisers. He would do that for me. He would do it for any, any of our teammates. Fox 11 told you of their first event. As you might imagine, Bunk's medical bills are astronomical. It costs $300,000 a year for just his 24-hour nursing. Yeah, I'm going to close this door. Friends and family even rebuilt a room above his parents' garage in Orange, a single guy's apartment. There's even an elevator. All my friends from childhood all the way through my adult life showed up. And of course, in the freezer are all his sweets. His dad, a teacher, his mom, a nurse, say this to Bunk's believers. Our gratitude is forever with you. It is beyond words. Bunk expressed just one concern when we met, getting back to the classroom. He worked with children with special needs and taught them to paint the American flag. When we did his story six years ago, his students wished him well. Oh, I'm certainly hoping he doesn't give up the fight anytime soon. I mean, I never known him to. And one day I'd love to be back in the classroom, so. But that's another hurdle I gotta get across. So slowly but surely. In the meantime, there's six-year-old Michael. Michael is the son of Bunk's family friends, the Shermers. Okay, now you wanna come to the other side here, Michael? At his Catholic school, Michael would pray. Please help Uncle Bunk for that. Please, Uncle Bunk? Mm -hmm. Please help Uncle Bunk? Mm -hmm. Bunk went to visit, and the kids in kindergarten had a surprise for him, their own Bunk-inspired artwork. Uncle Bunk came to your class? Mm -hmm. And what did you guys do? We gave him our American flags. And that's what you made? And how did you make this? With straws, and stars that are paper, and oil pastels. Knowing that they did them for me, I was uh, very touched with that. He's 42 years old, and while Bunk may no longer sketch portraits like this of Elvis, or do photography, or wood carvings like he used to, it's still the American flag he loves to paint. How'd you make this? That is acrylic paints. And the bumpy? And with newspaper texture underneath. Put that in my mouth real quick. It wasn't so difficult because I remembered how to do everything. It was difficult just to remember to teach my mouth how to do it now. Bunkworth is proof you never know where life will take you or whom you'll inspire or what gift you'll be given. By the way, all of these flags were painted after his accident. Is, is there a message you would want to send to people watching? Just because you're in a chair doesn't mean you can't do anything.
I'm Christine Devine, Fox 11 News.